So here you can see the text box is successfully connected with this current theme, but now let's assume we have a new theme and we haven't yet connected it. Then the following will happen. You see here the product page text box is showing. And if I will now just publish a new theme and I will not connect the app with it. So I will just put it here and I will view again. Then you will see the theme will change, but no text box will appear. So this is now an issue and what we have to do. So to connect it again is we have to go to our apps open up the app dashboard from our text box app go back to the theme setup so that's what we have to do and here we have to see already that um, the current live theme is always pre-selected so i updated it to refresh and if we see setup not done so this will be the explanation why the text box is not showing here so what we now have to do is we have to click the next button And now we have to follow the two steps. First of all, we have to enable the app. So I will do so. I will click enable the app. The theme customizer will open up. And we have now only to click and enable the app for this current theme. So I will just enable it and click the save button. I will also return to the previous tab. And we will see once it is saved successfully. I always recommend to wait until it is saved. Then you will also see that the tick is coming here. And also then you can go to the next step, adding the app block. This is where the position is defined. So let us also add the app block here. I will do so. Now it will au automatically open up the product page. And here you will see there is the product information tab. And I always recommend if it's not showing here because on initial setup, if no text box is created, you will just see the um, text box banner, which is showing here. So then just click here, add block click on text box now decide on which position you want to show the text box most people just want to move it up all above the variant picker no not above below the variant picker and above the quantity selector so this is the most common position then you can just also click the save button return to the previous tab and you see setup is successfully done and you can go and you will see that this that the setup worked out well so we i can now just refresh the page and what we will see is now the text box will appear